So now that we have a general idea of where these turkeys are hanging out, we need to make sure that we pattern our guns. This is important because it gives us an idea of what the limitations are of our guns. This way when we actually run into a turkey and we want to take a shot, we know how far we can actually shoot. Alright, so we have the target set up at 30 yards. We're going to try different ammo and different chokes. I'm shooting a 12 gauge Remington 870 with a HS Undertaker choke in it. And, um, I'm also shooting a Remington 870, but I have a uh, go the True Glow Gobble Stopper uh, choke in there. And then we've also got a 20 gauge uh, uh, Mossberg Maverick 88, and that also has a Gobble Stopper choke in it. So here's the ammo that we're going to be using. Okay. Alright, for the 12 gauge we're going to be using some 3 inch um, Winchester Longbeard XR. And the velocity on this is 1050 and it's 1 and 7 8 ounce uh, lead. And then we also we're going to be trying out Remington Nitro Turkey. The Nitro Turkey is uh, also for the 12 gauge it's 3 inch 1210 um, feet per second and it's also inch and 7 eighths. Another difference between those two is that the Remington is number 6 whereas the Winchester is number 5. So on the 20 gauge we're going to be trying uh, some federal uh, turkey loads. These are um, these are 3 inch 1 and 5 16 ounce number 4 shots. So these are really common rounds. They're pretty cheap. I think they were like 12 or 13 dollars for uh, 10 rounds. And then we've got some of the really high end stuff here and this is the federal third degree. And this is three different kinds of shot in it. Um, some of it's the TSS uh, heavyweight. Then we've got flight stopper number sixes and copper plated lead number fives. So we're going to see if there's really a big difference between these low end and high end ammos. That was a good one. All right, so now we tested out both shotguns with different ammos and different choke. They're both 870s, but they pattern very differently. Uh, we really tend to like the True Glow and it seemed to hold the patterns a little better for this shotgun and for the HS Undertaker they were kind of all over the place but um, either way both did pretty good here's the results so first off we're gonna compare the Nitro Turkey rounds uh, in the Gobble Stopper choke and the Undertaker so on the Undertaker you see that there's about five pellets that made contact with the neck and head of this turkey. Now keep in mind that this turkey head is much smaller than a real turkey head. So generally speaking, this would have probably killed a turkey with no problem. However, when we look at the gobble stopper, it's a much tighter pattern. There's a lot more pellets that hit uh, the plate. Um, and so this is just a much better pattern in general. So here we have the Longbeard XR out of the HS Undertaker. As you can see here, not a whole lot of pellets um, hit the plate but the ones that did seem to hold together pretty well. But the, the other choke that we have is the True Glow Gobble Stopper, and that one really 
um, kept most of the pellets on the plate. So in this comparison, you can tell that the True Glow did much better than the HS. Okay, so obviously the Gobble Stopper Choke did much better with both of these types of ammo. So now let's see which ammo actually patterned the best. The Nitro Turkey uh, had a few pellets that actually hit the target. Whereas when we look at the Longbeard XR, there's pellets all over the place on the head of this turkey. On top of that, most of the pellets from that shot were pretty centered on that plate. So we feel like the Longbeard XR coupled with the gobble stopper choke was the best pattern that we shot today. So we also patterned out some 20 gauge shells. So we compared some cheap federal turkey loads to the more expensive third degree turkey loads. And what we actually found is that the cheaper ones patterned quite a bit better. With these cheap turkey loads, you can see that about four or five of these number four pellets made contact with the target. Whereas with these expensive third degree rounds, we only had two pellets hit the target and they're very scattered. Alright YouTubes, I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, so if you like the content of this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. And as always, be safe, stay diligent, and good luck in the woods, guys.